It's Shumade here. Today I'm making another video on another little quick build. Now one of you guys put a comment in one of the videos I made on the last build. Saying that you guys would like to see a little bit of a longer range build that's still still budget. So this is this is probably the best, in my opinion, budget, medium to long range option you have. For like our early game, still keeping it cheap. And then this is with the uh, the MDR, here to five five six. Now this can only, this will run you like fifty thousand dollars on the flea market. You can get it pretty cheap, and the good thing about it is you can it's just pretty much good to go as is. I mean you can honestly just throw a site on this, run into raid, and you'll have a fantastic time. Now you can you can add just a few few things here, and it'll make it just just a little bit better. Now you have a couple options here. You can either run you know suppressed or loud as normal. Of course, unsuppress is going to be going to be cheaper. Now you have two two options that I recommend for suppressors. Do you, do you want to go the suppressed route, which I do recommend. For forty thousand dollars altogether, you can get the uh, Daniel Defense Wave five five six muzzle brake and the uh, Wave QD sound suppressor. So these together, I mean, it's a pretty 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 cheap suppressor. We uh, go ahead and take off the MDR pre or uh, default little what is this little flash hider? Throw this on there without the suppressor. The stats are 77 ergo and 67 vertical recoil. We go ahead and throw the suppressor on there. The ergo is 59 and the vertical recoil is 54. So not bad at all. It's a really cheap suppressor. It'll get the job done. Your other options a little more a little more expensive. It's only ten thousand dollars more. This is with a surefire flash hider and the monster combination. Throw these together. The stats of these two together. So off of here. So before it's 77, 67. After it's 60, 54. So it goes from 60 to 54. With the monster. To 59, 54. So you gain one extra ergo. For ten thousand rubles, if that's something that you really care about, go ahead. You can now. The main reason why I'm recommending these two is depending on the day and the time of day. These two will switch prices. One might be a little more expensive than the other, so I recommend just looking at trying to try to find either one of these. These these will run you. These will run you pretty budget. Get to the, get the job done. If you're running loud, definitely just go with this little peed. PWS, super cheap. It's got better stats than the other two. The only difference is it's loud, you know. That's all that is. Now for the grip, we're just gonna be getting the fucking the M lock AFG. Alright, that's all you need to do. You just need to buy this grip. You don't even need to get a little bottom really, you can just buy it, throw it right on there, and you're good to go. That's all you're gonna do. So you get get that together. You're good to go. Add all that together. You got like fifty-four thousand. We're gonna go with the budget one. It's ninety thousand, fifteen thousand for the for the uh, what should we call it? Uh, the grip there. So we're at one hundred five thousand dollars all together with the gun so far. Now I don't like to include the the site in the price of the gun because it's a real personal preference. You can use any site you would like. Now my favorite site for long range. This isn't part of the. This is part of it. This is my personal preference. I like to go with uh, the uh, Schmidt and Bender. I don't know how you say that properly. I think it's the Schmidt and Bender. This is my personal site. This one is a little more expensive. It'll run you maybe another fifty thousand dollars, one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. But you don't have to get this site. You can get a cheaper one. Any any site that you uh, you like. One of the main reasons I like this one is because it matches colors. I like to build guns personally. Kind of match. Why not? So. The rest of this video is just going to be a couple of clips of me just killing some things with this gun. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now we're in red now. I just forgot to turn my microphone on, so we're doing a voiceover. So right now I'm sitting in Crack House. I'm receiving some shots from the stronghold. Let's be in the arm over here, so I relocate. Heal up a little bit about the grizzly. See this window here, so I'm going to use this to get a good angle on the guy and see if I can get a good shot on him. Very nice. 
Now I'm just using this window just to see if the dude has any friends. Looking around, looking at the top store, the bottom store, left to right. You know the deal. Don't see anything immediately. I think it's safe. I think his body's right over there, so... I think we're gonna head on over. Now, as we're running up to confirm the kill, we're still checking to see if it's safe. Here's the body. Awesome. Now, the thing I didn't realize is this is not the person that shot at us originally. This will come to bite us in the ass. <laughs> You'll see. Unfortunately, I only caught the end of the fight in my clips, but here you go. Here I open my bag and spot a grenade and make quick use of it. Damn, he tried running. He just didn't quite get there. Yikes. Unfortunate. Leg got a little blown off there. There it is, right there. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. After looting all the bodies after the fight, ran over here, ran into the staff. Then Dara made quick work of him, thankfully. Then we came over here. Thought I heard something over here. Made quick work of him. And I successfully extracted him.